Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. You allow us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Thank you for the love and protection, especially this time of pandemic. Bless us, Father, with your wisdom as we begin our class. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we think and listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Lord, we thank you and let your will be done in our lives. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. St. Joseph College Mission We commit to build the St. Joseph College Educative Family SJCEF centered on Christ to form every member into an integral human person in with the gospel values and equipped with excellent quality education and to be an active agent in making your main society. Vision St. Joseph College, a Catholic school, envisions an evangelized and evangelizing community, providing excellent integral education and involvement in social transformation. Good day everyone and welcome to Ontology and Livelihood Education 10. We're here in learning learners learning material and learners activity sheet 17. So we are now on lesson 6 in your work textbook, washing, ironing, clothes, linens and fabrics. But before that, we're going to review what happened during the LMM and LES 16. So we were able to discuss two parts of it, the cleaning living room, dining room, toilet and bathroom. So how's your video recording so far? So I hope you are going to submit it just before the exam for it is your gateway or your ticket to your final exam. So now let us know what is or what are the contents of our lesson. So the learners or you will gain knowledge and understanding on the topic washing and ironing clothes, linens, and fabrics. Specifically for this lesson, for this session, learners specifically engage the concept and procedures on the following subtopics. So first, checking and sorting clothes, linens, and fabrics. Types of linens and fabrics, then we have repairing defective clothes, linens, and fabrics. Then followed by removing stains and spots in fabric and linens. Then pre 
personal protective paraphernalia and precautionary measures. All right. So, the introduction. Have you ever experienced washing and ironing your own clothes or your brother's or sister's clothes? If you had experience, how will you do the washing and ironing? Good washing results in fresh smelling clothes, spotlessly clean and bright in their colors. Then laundering or washing and ironing clothes can be done daily or weekly or on schedule. Before doing the washing, segregate items according to colors, texture, size, and defects. So, laundering is a combination of washing and ironing, by the way. So, it isn't laundering if you only wash it. You have to iron and fold it to complete the process of laundering. So, that's why there's, they're called a laundry shop where they press or where they wash, they press and fold your laundry the first thing you're going to do is checking and sorting clothes linens and fabrics one separate lightly spoiled items from heavily spoiled ones wash items of similar colors together separate white or light colored clothes and dark colored clothes wash them accordingly Number two, attend to the clothes before washing. Okay, so in washing, consider the extent of dirt. Heavily soiled items should be grouped together and lightly soiled ones washed together. So lightly soiled items are moderately washed with lesser detergent, while heavy soiled ones need more detergent and repeated washing until they are spotlessly clean. White or light colored items should be separated from the dark colored items when washing to avoid white items from absorbing the faded color of dark colored items. So, lubad, okay? So, this will prevent discoloring the white clothes and fabric, thus making them look and appear immaculately clean and white. C. Silk fabrics have delicate texture and are gently washed or hand wash or dry clean while cotton and linen items are softened when machine wash again silk fabrics and a silk fabrics are best if hand wash or dry clean then cotton and linens are softened when machine wash d clothing linens and fabrics with defects should be repaired before washing to prevent from getting worse then stains should be removed promptly it is easier to remove new and fresh stains than old and hardened ones so as soon as you spot stain on your shirt or your fabric do washing immediately types of linens and fabrics we have solid cotton the fibers of the cotton plant can be woven into variety of fabrics they can also be combined with other natural or synthetic fibers to create blended fabrics in general cotton is durable comfortable and easy to care of so here are the classifications or correct i mean the examples of cotton's fabric or, or solid cotton number one is cotton velvet it comes in many ways and appropriate for upholstery clothing and decorative accessories clean velvet with a soft dry brush or dry clean to avoid the pile steam do not iron or remove wrinkles we have muslin it is expensive plain weave cotton and is usually undyed. It is often used as a lining or to make a practice version of a garment or sleepover to test for fit. We have terry cloth, most common used to make bath towels and robes. Terry cloth is absorbent because of its looped 
pile with thick cotton yarns. It can be piled on one or both sides. We have flannel. Can be made of cotton wool or a wool blend. Although it is popular for baby clothes and bedding, its softness makes it a nice choice for lining winter garments. Then we have chambray. Is plain weave fabric made of cotton or cotton synthetic blends. The wrap threads are dyed and the web, web threads are left white as they are for denim. It is used for making clothing, especially shirts. So this is the softest kind of denim. Na po di polo shirt. We have, oy, we have the poplin. Poplin or durable cotton has tightly woven plain weave and slight horizontal weaves. It is good choice for children's and adult lightweight color clothing then we have cotton viol lightweight sheer cotton viol is perfect for clothing and for breezy curtains and then from solid cotton we have patterned cotton so below this are ticking used okay sorry yeah that's fine ticking it is used to make mattress cover. Then we have dotted, used for making curtains and clothing, including children's garment. Then we have gingham. Distinct two-tone over white checkered blood pattern, used for lightweight summer clothing and household linens. And then from solid cottons, patterned cottons, we also have silk. Spun from delicate threads of silkworm originated in China, used for interior decoration as well as fashion. It is strong, lightweight, and takes dye well, allowing for brilliantly colored fabrics with a natural luster. Some silk may be gently hand washed, although dry cleaning is recommended for most. Do not wring wet silk as the fiber becomes weaker when wet. To dry, roll the fabric inside a towel to absorb water or excess water. Then never spot clean silk as, as water may leave a mark. So, possible nga ma decolorate siya because it is dyed. Then we have linens. It is made from flax, Linen is one of the oldest textile in the human history. It is extremely strong and durable and can be fairly heavy, yet will feel light and cool against the skin. Linen softens uh, if machine washed, a trait some people find desirable. If you preferred your linen crisp, dry clean it. Wash, dry, and press for dry clean or dry clean linen before sewing it so we have wool wool are warm and insulating wool is manufactured in many weights and styles from lightweight suiting to heavy blanket cloth wool will last a long time if it is properly cared of most wool fabrics should be dry clean although some can be hand washed in cold water when machine washed in hot water and tumbled in a dryer wool can shrink and become felted all right from the kinds of or types of fabric we will going to repairing defective clothing and linen and fabric so mend rips and repair holes Mending is straightening worn out parts of garment by stitching them. Meanwhile, darning is replacing and reinforcing worn out and broken thread of a fabric by stitching or weaving in new threads. And patching is stitching a piece of fabric to cover a hole 
and then mending and darning should be done before washing to prevent the tear or hole from getting worse. So learn the simple ways of altering garments and linen. Then number three, clothes look better and last longer if you mend rips and tears as soon as they appear. Depending on the their sizes holes, a garment may be mended by patching. Four, tears in clothing are commonly straight, diagonal, and three-cornered. Regardless of the shape of the tears, darn will, ha will hardly be noticed if the threads used in darning match the color of the clothes. All right, let's proceed in removing stains and spots in fabric linens. Spots and stains should be removed promptly to avoid spoiling the appearance of the garment. Common stains include ink, blood, rust, water, mud, perspiration, scorch, chewing gum. Here are some ways of removing this stain. We have number one, blood. If you observe blood on the fabric, soak in cold water for several hours so that it will stay or the or the substance or blood substance will stay on the place and it will not spread out. Then afterwards, wash in warm soapy water and rinse. Warm and soapy so that the chemical or the substance will be detached on the fabric or in the fibers of the fabric. Next, we have candle. If you serve candle on candle drops on your fabric you need to scrape the candle with dull knife dull knife because if you use sharp your linen or your fabric will be torn or will be lacerated followed by washing in detergent solution until candle spot is removed then rinse thoroughly the third one is the most familiar chewing gum so if you happen to see a chewing gum on your uh, fabric, shirt, or your pants, chill the spot with a piece of ice so that it will be hardened and it will be easily removed. Then scrape off the gum. Afterwards, wash in soapy water and rinse. Next, we have rust or the eye. If you happen to see rust on your shirt or in your pants, sprinkle stain with salt. Then apply calamansi juice and dry in the sun. Let stand for 3 or 4 minutes, then wash in detergent soap. Rinse thoroughly. So, we have scorch. Kanang scorch man siya ang paso. If ever ma overheat ni mo ang iron, then your fabric will be blotted with scorch. If ever happen to see scorch on your fabric or your t-shirt or your polo or pants, wet the spot with cold water, then dry in the sun. Afterwards, apply a thin slice of onion on the spot. Next is water spots. So, kanang mga lama-lama. If happy to see water spots, especially on your towel, on your beddings, dip the garment in cold water, then roll in a toilet. Let stand for a few hours and press. Alright. Next, we have chocolate coffee, fruit juices, and ice cream. If you happen to see these stains on your shirts or your pants, soak stain part in warm detergent. When, when, we, men when we say warm detergent, it should be detergent solution. Partial, part of it are water and part of it are detergent. You can use also soap solution for an hour. Wash, then rinse. Monang sijang ibabad. The term ay ibabad. Kay para mo remove ang or detach ang substance 
dirty substance or stained substance sa imong uh, fabric. We have ink. For ink, soak in cold water, then lime juice or milk. Wash in warm, soapy water and then rinse. Then we have mud and perspiration. Singot or kili-kili dapit. If happen to see that one, wash in soap solution and then rinse. We also have stain like oil and lard. If happen to see one, soak stained part on the hot water or warm soap solution. Let's stand until grease uh, is removed, then wash and rinse. Then lastly, we have paint or varnish. So, accidentally, while you are painting your uh, masterpiece, na brush ni mo kapil imong t-shirt or pants. So, if you happen to observe one, immediately apply turpentine or thinner. Then wash as ordinary washing. If happen oil painting ang imong gigamit for painting, you should use linseed oil. Alright, so here are personal protective paraphernalia and precautionary, precautionary measure. Why we have this? Because some of us or humans are allergic to the solutions or chemicals that is used so they have to protect themselves to avoid uh, allergic reaction so first we have to wear safety mask and not necessarily surgical mask because surgical masks are filtered uh, mostly filtered or double layer you may use uh, ordinary mask because, uh, because, for example, on or using the surgical mask, it will be hardly for the virus to enter. But since we are cleaning or doing laundry, so our main concern here is not the virus but the chemical. So safety mask is okay. Protection from inhaling an unpleasant odor or chemical use in washing. Number two, safety gloves. Uh, to tell you frankly, I do use safety gloves during the times that I do my personal washing when I study nursing in Cebu. So that's my weekly course. Chores, I mean, washing the clothes. So I use uh, the safety gloves because uh, my hands is allergic to uh, detergent solution so for safety gloves hand protection against chemical absorption from washing detergents and chemical used in removing the stains number three keep detergent and chemicals in a safe place out of children's reach yes because they might uh, they might misunderstand this or malibog dyan sila basta abin nila juice so delikado ko maino number four check electrical wirings and connections of electrical equipment so you have to check if wala ba yung mga kanang samad-samad sa wire kay if na samad-samad na expose ang rod or kanang isab itong koan kanang electric electric kanang so, ito naman na, basta ka naman nag, uh, ma-expose ang ijang ka ng rod lagi. Maybe ma-kurintihan uh, or na ma accidente mo. Number five, do not use electric equipment in wet surface. So, make sure that the area is dry so that in case nga ma-hagbo, dry gap at ang injong electrical equipment or wires i think that's all for this week i'm um, no that's all for this day then we're going to continue on thursday for the second part the personal uh, no, performing laundry and dry clothes linen fabrics we have laundry machines laundry supplies laundry proper 
laundering and proper than basic steps in washing the clothes. We also have washing with automatic washer, cleaning washing area and equipment, ironing clothes, linens and fabrics, ironing technique using electric dry iron. I think that's all and thank you.